Hey, mi gente, it's Junie and Steve. If you are new here, hey, today we are going to be talking about, as you read in the title, part three of Stop Claiming False Afro Latinos. Yes, a part three of False Afro Latinos. Mm -hmm. This time around, it's going to be three artists and three politicians. Enjoy. Before I start, I'm going to define what is an Afro-Latino to the new gentes aquí. Afro-Latinos are black people born in Latin America or descendant of black parents from Latin America. Yes, someone with a full black parent from Latin America and a non-black parent can be classified as Afro-Latino. As long as their black parent is a descendant or born in a Latin America country. Now I'm going to start off by talking about the three false Afro-Latinos who happen to be artists. Number one, Anita. Anita is a Brazilian singer she has been claiming that her parents, well, one of her parents is of black heritage, while the other one is a white Latina. And her black parent, he's Brazilian too, just like her mother. Her mother is Brazilian as well. But here's the catch. Her father is mixed. And as you guys could tell, hopefully, you could tell by the pictures that I am showing that her dad is clearly mixed. He's not fully black. And yes, we do know there are fair-skinned black people with two black parents. But let's not pray dumb. I could tell this man is not fully black. You could tell. And... That's okay, but my issue is when people like Anita lie about her parents' backgrounds just so they could identify as Afro-Latino, Afro-Latina, Afro-Latinx, and it's very disrespectful because, let's be realistic, Anita does not go through what Isa goes through, because Isa, she is an Afro-Latina, she's an Afro-Brazilian woman, and their experiences are two totally different experiences. Let's be realistic. I do not understand Anita. Maybe she's having an identity crisis. I do not know. But it's clear that her dad is mixed. Her mom is a white Latina. She's not Afro Latina. Number two, Anuel. Anuel is a reggaeton artist. He identifies as mixed race, and his fans, aka, as usual, Wikipedia, love claiming false Afro Latinos like this. And they put that he's Afro Puerto Rican on Wikipedia, and the information about notable celebrities that are Afro Latin descent or Afro Latino in general. Okay, now. Here are pictures of Anuel's father. And I'm going to see if I can find a picture of his mother too. But I do, I did find a picture, well, a few pictures of his father. It's clear that Anuel's father is mixed race as well. I hope you guys could see that. What Anuel goes through is not the same way as, for example, Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz, one of his parents is African American, whereas the other parent, his mother, she's Afro Puerto Rican. You could tell, yes, Victor Cruz's mom, she's maybe mixed race, and, and I'm not sure about that because you'd be surprised she could be fully Afro Puerto Rican. But my point is, regardless, 
she's out for Puerto Rican, she procreated with somebody who is black. So that makes Victor Cruz Afro Latino, R. Magni. But if it was something similar, similarly with Anuel and his family tree or something, I would I would have been like, okay, he is Afro Latino, but he's not. And another good example is Irene Cara. Irene Cara, her father was Afro Latino. He was a black Puerto Rican man, while her mother was a Cuban American woman. You see my point? She's mixed race, but. The point is, she's half white or non-black Latina, while she's also half black, black Latina. And her father was a black Puerto Rican man, which makes her Afro-Latina. And I'm trying to be nice, but it's like, there comes a time where you have to be honest and me lying all the time and trying to make people feel comfortable is not going to not only educate more people to understand the definitions of what is an Afro-Latino, what is an Afro-Latina, what is an Afro-Latin X person. I am refuse to be erased. I'm sorry. I'm just going to continue being honest as much as, as, much as I can on this platform. And if you cannot handle it, number three, Daddy Yankee. Oh my God. This one's crazy because I am a fan of Daddy Yankees, but I'm not going to be advocating for him when it comes to him doing stuff that affects Afro Latinos. And this does affect us. Back in 2020, out of all fucking times, Daddy Yankee chose to identify as mixed race. All of a sudden, he was talking about how he has a black father, a white mother, who are Puerto Ricans. And here's the thing. Here are pictures of Daddy Yankee with his father. Let's be realistic. It's clear that his father was mixed race. Or if he's still alive, he is mixed race. I'm going to be honest with you. I personally do not think Daddy Yankee's father was fully black. And on top of that, Daddy Yankee never claimed to be mixed race or black until 2020. Daddy Yankee could easily pass as mestizo because me personally, he looks more mestizo than mixed rate, you know, mixed with black. And uh, I get it. He, he wants to, he wants to relate to a current event during that time that was graphic. And he related to his father who is mixed race. And he knew that his mixed race father will receive this type of prejudice because he, at the end of the day, People are, people are going to see his father as black, even though it's clear that he's mixed race. And I get it, but it's like, Daddy Yankee, that's not you. That's not you. And as a fan of his work, I am not going to advocate that Daddy Yankee is Afro-Latino because that's crazy. He's not. And if I'm wrong, sorry, now we are on the politicians portion of this video. Number one, Antonio Delgado. Antonio Delgado is a politician from New York City, well, New York State, sorry, correct myself, from New York State. I think he's a lieutenant of New York State. His father is black. And his mother is mixed with black. And for what I researched, culturally, cultural wise, he has African American culture. Or he has, I forgot the country. I'm going to put it in the screen somewhere. And from his mother's side, his mother's mother, aka his maternal grandmother, she was of black American 
heritage. Her father, aka his grandfather, he was of non-black, Venezuelan, Mexican, and Colombian descent. A good one. That's the squad right there. <laughs> look, 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 look. You have my look, look, look. When you guys were, were raising us and, and instilling the values that you were instilling in us, what was your goal? I... Now, does that make him Afro Latino? No, that does not. We have to be realistic. If his grandfather from his mother's side of the family, aka his mother's father, was a non black Latino, which it's clear he was. There are a few articles that identify his mother as mixed race, then that doesn't make him Afro Latino. And then now, there has been questions about whether he is a Latino in general, even though he is a Latino. He just not an Afro Latino. And that's okay. Number three, AOC, aka Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Now, I am a fan of AOCs, but I cannot defend her for this one. So, back in 2019, she finally talked about her background and she said it herself that she is Puerto Rican descent. And um, during this interview, she was, she was talking about her heritage, talking about how she has indigenous and black ancestry, but that is not her identity. She knows that she has black, indigenous, and white ancestry. But she also knows that her parents are not black, as you all could see in this picture of them, of her family. I believe she knows that she's mestiza, okay? But this is my problem now. Back in 2020, she was saying something that kind of sounds similar to what Fat Joe was saying in 2019, saying that Latinos are black and, oh my God. And, um, you know, a lot of times I'll hear people say, okay, this is about Black Lives Matter. What about Latinos? And I always say, Latinos are black. <laughs> we, we are Afro-Latina and um, we, we run an entire racial spectrum. And so we have to have conversations around colorism. And we have to have conversations about the African and indigenous roots from which we come and how that's reflected in systems of power, wealth inequality, and frankly, our, our political system. If you see the Fat Joe video, you already know how I feel about that statement. I'm going to say this right here, right now. Latinos are not all black. There are a variety of Latinos. We all know this, especially if you already know, thanks to my channel or other people within the diaspora talking about this or just you doing your own research at your own time or being educated by your parents, teachers, etc. So saying a broad statement like all Latinos are black is problematic, especially because it, it affects people that look like me. So that's a problem. Okay, maybe she did not interpret that way what she was trying to say in her statement, but it came off as if she was saying what I think she was saying and a few of her critics who criticized, who criticized her during that time. I do not agree with her saying the statement and saying that about her heritage, knowing damn well that her parents are not black, both of them, they are not black, AOC. The final person, Hugo Chavez. Hugo Chavez was a politician and he was the president of Venezuela back in 1999 until his death in 2013. His family background is of Almorain Indian, 
afro Venezuelan, and Spanish descent. In conclusion, he was multiracial, not Afro-Latino. I do not understand why he's on the list of afro Venezuelan notable people on Wikipedia. I'm telling you right now, Wikipedia pisses me off. <sighs> I'm telling you, that app needs work. Mm -mm. Concluding statements and the outro of this video. I feel that we as a society, especially black and mixed with black people, we have to stop claiming everyone as black because that is a problem. Do not get me wrong. Sure, maybe you, a family member, or etc. have an identity crisis issues that that is possible but you cannot be identifying within a group of people that are marginalized especially for example because since this is a topic about afro latinos afro latinos are marginalized especially in latin america of course in the united states as well but depending certain countries we go to within Latin America, the black and mixed with black populations are not as high. And that would mean, and that would mean that they are marginalized within their countries. And we have to make sure that we stop allowing false Afro-Latinos within the states and overseas AKA in Latin American countries to stop identifying as Afro Latinos because that's not what they are. The term Afro Latino, Afro Latina, or Afro Latin X are reserved for people who have a black parent or two black parents of Latin culture. But keep in mind, they will either A, born in Latin America or B, of Latin descent. But keep in mind, they are black. Reading is fundamental. It's fundamental to read. And also watch other videos as well to get informed, like on my channel, for example. I'm also going to include a playlist so you guys could maybe binge watch a few content from my channel so you can get an idea to better understand these terminologies and or what is the purpose of my channel yes i do know that the media plays a huge factor on how people identify but this is why there's a thing called researching once again like i said previously getting yourself informed because yeah <laughs> thank you so much if you made this far in this video i appreciate you be sure to like this video especially if you made this far comment your thoughts and before i move on i do want to say that for the plans of the channel i'm planning to do an in-depth video on jan jackson i don't know when this video is going to come out because this video it's a lot of research. I already have a script for it, but I need to reread it, add more things, and then boom, the video. And then we all know editing and getting clips. Yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of work. Then I'm planning to also do additional videos on additional topics relating to music artists that I either a fan of or somewhat a fan of yeah i'm gonna try to see we're gonna see how i'm gonna do this man i'm gonna try if anything i'm going to let all you guys know either on my instagram page which by the way follow my instagram if you do, have not and or on the community tab so I, I could keep you all informed on what is going to happen and or to for you guys to vote on the topic or topics one thing I want to say before I close out is that 
Next week's video is going to be about the pros and cons of St. Francis College. So if you're curious to know what I went through in college, check out that video. It comes out next week at 12 p.m. And most likely, I'm going to premiere it. So be on the lookout in the community tab. Turn on your post notifications if you want to be reminded just in case. Okay, mi gente, okay? Thank you and...